Hello, my name is Christina and today we're going to work through Lesson 5, Sound Off. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to use your CodeCube to display images with sounds. So to get started, you will need your CodeCube, your USB cable, and your computer with the CodeCube app open. To start, you're going to tether your CodeCube into your computer, so micro USB into your CodeCube, and it will display the rainbow image when it is connected. Click Connect Cube in the top left corner of the app and select your Code Cube from the list. Then click Connect. In this lesson, we are finally going to use a block from the menu we have not used yet, the Sound menu. The code we will create in this lesson uses the speakers in the Code Cube to produce unique sounds. When you want to place sounds, it is important to pay attention to where you place them in your program, as images will stay on the display when a sound is being played. However, if you place a sound block before an image block, the image will not change until the sound has finished. This will make more sense when we create and try out the code for this lesson. Let's start by going into the control menu and dragging the on program start block into your workspace. Next, go into the matrix menu and drag the matrix image block to connect just under the on program start block. Click on the drop down menu for that block and select the image of the crab. Don't forget, you could always have the students create their own image as long as they're monitoring their memory. In the sound menu, you will see three different blocks. For today's lesson, you will use the play sound blank until done block. This block tells the code cube to play a pre-programmed sound effect. Let's click the drop down menu for this block and select the random tune option. This will tell the code cube to randomly play any of the sound options programmed for this block. This means you should hear a different sound each time you execute this code. Because we want to test out a few of these sounds, go ahead and duplicate or copy and paste this block two more times, attaching each to the bottom of your current code. You should now have the on program start block, the matrix image of the crab, and then three of the play sound blocks all set to play a random tune. To add a little separation between your images and sounds, let's add a pause block from the control menu. Change the number on that block to three. Now the code cube should pause for three seconds after the random tunes before changing to the next image. To add another image block, you can go back into the matrix menu or duplicate the one you have on screen by either right clicking or selecting and typing control C to copy and control V to paste. Connect the second matrix image block to the bottom of your current code. Click the drop down menu of this block and change it to the image of the spaceship. Get another play sound block either by going into the menu or duplicating it and add it below the new image. Click the drop down menu on this block and change it to the space sound. We also want there to be a pause here, so add in a pause block by dragging over a new one or duplicating it using your preferred method. Make sure this one is also set to three seconds. Now we are going to add two new blocks to the end of your program. In the matrix menu, Find the clear matrix block and add it to your code. This block tells the code cube to display a blank screen. This will let you know when your program has ended. Unlike the previous lessons, we do not want the code cube to continue playing or looping this program. Therefore, we are going to add an end program block. You can find this in the control menu. When you have that at the end of your code, your code is complete. When you have finished creating your code, click send code. Remember, if it's already connected, it will automatically start. So you will see the crab playing the three different sounds, followed by a pause, and then the spaceship with the space sound. Then your program is complete. If you have time, you might want to go through and try the different sounds available within this block so that you know what's available. In case you want to use this code again, click Save Blocks at the top of the app. Then you'll want to rename it. We are going to name this one Lesson Number 5. Finally, choose a location where you want to save it. Nice job creating the code for Lesson 5. Now let's take a look at the activities listed at the end of the lesson plan. Remember that these are just additional activities the students can go through to practice the code they just created in the lesson. For more CodeCube resources and to see additional videos, go to pitsco.com forward slash CodeCube.